Okay, uh, the problem was, and I am recording this, so behave yourselves. The driver of a compact car of this mass has an initial velocity of 25. Now, in the actual homework problem in the book, this was a slightly different number. I, I didn't want to take the time to figure out what it was. And has a 5,000 Newton force exerted to slow it for two seconds when the brakes are applied. So it's, it's worded a little differently, too. Um, what is the impulse applied to the car? What is the change in momentum of the car? And what is the final velocity of the car? Okay, so let's um, let's do given. All right, so uh, here's our car. My little 2001 Toyota Prius. It's a sweet little car, let me tell you. I'm pretty sure my car is not a Ferrari. <laughs> All right, so our initial velocity is, and you can call it V naught if you want, I'm going to call it V initial, is 25 meters per second. I don't know what the final velocity is yet, but it's going slower. And uh, this final velocity happens uh, two seconds later. So delta T equals two seconds. And we've got this braking force, which is really a friction force between your wheels and the road, and this is negative 5,000 newtons. Negative because it's in the opposite direction of the positive velocity. Okay, and so what we want to find, and I'm on camera, yeah. Okay, what I want to find for A is the impulse. I'll just call that force times time. Um, it is, uh, there are some books that use the capital letter I to stand for impulse. I don't think our textbook does. But you can use that if you want to, capital I. Um, uh, for B, we want to know what is the change in momentum. And for C, we want to know what is the final velocity of the car. <clears throat> so let's solve it. So uh, well, uh, A, impulse, is just force times time. So this one's pretty easy. Uh, negative 5,000 newtons times two seconds. Well, that's 10 negative 10,000. And what are the units? Newton seconds. If you want to call them kilogram meters per second, you can. But remember, this is asking for impulse. And when, they, when the problem asks for impulse, I like to leave the units as Newton seconds, Newtons times seconds. If you change it to the units of uh, momentum, which is kilogram meters per second, that's okay, because it's the same thing. But this is my answer for part A. Now for part B, well, now we're gonna use the impulse momentum theorem that says that an impulse is equal to a change in momentum, which they're the, they're the same thing. So you just take this answer. Now what I like to do when uh, I'm expressing it as a change in momentum is leave it in the units for momentum. Momentum is mass times velocity, kilograms times meters per second. Now if you left it as newton seconds, I don't care. Now if the units are wrong, then yeah, you're gonna lose half a point. So that's my answer for part B. Now for part C, we know that change in momentum is equal to the mass times a change in velocity, right? But a change in velocity is V final minus V initial. So I want to find this V final. So first, let's uh, divide everything by the mass. So I get... Um, delta P, the change in momentum, divided by the mass is equal to V final minus V initial. So V final is going to be equal to, we'll add that to the other side. So that's the change in momentum over the mass um, plus the initial velocity. Okay, so uh, now I just got to plug my numbers in. V final is equal to the change in momentum, which was negative 10 thousand kilogram meters per second divided by the mass which is 
725 kilograms plus the initial velocity which was uh, 25 meters per second. And now I need my calculator. There it is. So uh, 10,000, let's see, uh, 10,000, but it's negative, uh, divided by 725, and then plus 25. And when you do that, you get 11.2. Is that what you got? So that's my final velocity, 11.2. Is that what, people agree with that? Yeah. People who finished the problem? OK. All right, well, let's, uh, let me back out here and so you can see the whole thing. And this is how you solve. Basically, this is practice problem two in the book with some minor modifications. And this will be on the website for that. And that's it.